Let us solve a question on utility maximization in case of linear utility functions. Question is, a consumer has a utility function u is equal to 2x plus 3y. That means utility depends upon the consumption of two goods x and y and faces a budget constraint that means uh, 4x plus 6y is equal to 12. 4 means the price of x, 6 means the price of good y and 12 is the total income of the consumer. We have to see consumer equilibrium will be attained at what point options are being given when the consumer consumes zero units of good x 12 units of good y only is this the uh, you know consumer equilibrium bundle option second is when consumer consumes three units of good x and zero zero units of good y whether it is the consum consumer's optimal bundle and similarly we are being given the third option and uh, fourth option is any point on the budget constraint let us see how to solve this kind of question so we are being given a utility that means utility of a function is equal to sorry utility uh, function of a consumer is being given as is 2x plus 3y which is a linear one okay also we are being given the budget constraint that means price of good x which is 4 times units of good x plus price of good y which is 6 and units of good y which is equal to y and it should be equal to 12. 12 denotes the you know income of the consumer. So this is our utility function. This is our budget constraint. Okay, let's draw the graph here to make more sense. Okay. Let us say we have units of good x on the horizontal axis, units of good y on vertical axis. Okay. So, what actually the consumer wants to do? He wants to maximize, okay, let me write it here. He wants to maximize this utility function subject to this budget constraint, okay? Given this, uh, sorry, given the budget constraint, consumer want to reach the highest possible indifference curve, okay? So, uh, consumer equilibrium requires, and we know that, consumer uh, equilibrium requires that, marginal rate of substitution between two goods should be equal to the ratio of the prices that means price of good x upon price of good y okay now mrs is simply marginal utility of good x upon marginal utility of good y and it should be equal to the ratio of the prices here you know px upon py Price of good X is 4. Price of good Y is 6. Okay. Now, MUX means, if I write it here to make it more sense. So, marginal utility of good X is simply the partial derivative of utility function with respect to good X. Okay. So, if I take partial derivative of this function with respect to good X, derivative of X is 1. So, we are left with 2. Similarly, marginal and derivative of y is constant since it is constant here because we are taking uh, you know partials with respect to x symmetrically marginal utility of good y will be equal to del u upon del y means partially differentiating this time with respect to y so derivative of y is 1 so we are left with 3 okay so mux upon muy so this ratio will be equal to 2 upon 3 it should be equal to the ratio of the prices. So, if we simplify, simplify this, so this is 2, 2 are 4, 2, 3 are 6. Okay, what is happening here? We are also getting 2 upon 3 on, sorry, it is 2 upon 3 on this side. Okay, that means uh, the marginal rate of substitution is exactly equal to the ratio of the prices okay let me rub this out what exactly is meant by this mrs is simply the slope of indifference curve so this is slope of indifference curve and this 2 upon 3 is slope of slope of budget constraint okay so let's draw the budget constraint by this uh, you know red color since we have the 
linear utility function here you can see the slope of the linear utility function is exactly equal to the slope of price line that means our utility function will also so our utility function will also coincide with the you know uh, budget line okay so if i want to explain it given this budget line <clears throat> okay let me rub this out so given this red budget line okay consumer will try to reach the highest possible indifference curve let us say this is the first indifference curve this is second indifference curve and the slope of the indifference curve and the budget line is same so he will try to reach the highest possible indifference curve and highest possible indifference curve will coincide with the budget line okay what is happening here that means consumer will be at equilibrium on any point on this uh, you know budget constraint because the slope of the budget line coincides with the slope of the indifference curve okay consumer will be equilibrium at this point or this point or any point on this budget constraint okay so there are actually three conditions in case of linear utility function okay and let me try to explain it one by one let us say this is uh, this is the budget line okay if and let let me show it first case is when when slope of slope of budget line is greater than slope of ic okay so given this budget line if we have an indifference curve like this so we will try to reach the highest possible indifference curve so in this case since you can see here the slope of budget line which is red line is greater than the slope of the indifference curve that i have done, you know drawn hypothetically here let's say this good x good y what happens in this case consumer will consume all units of good y okay this is the one case second case can be like this let's say this is good x good y and let us say we have this kind of uh, you know budget line okay when the slope of budget line second case can be when slope of budget line is less than slope of slope slope of indifference curve what will happen in this case so given this budget line if i draw the indifference curve like this let us say this is first indifference curve second indifference curve third indifference curve and similarly we will have another indifference curve like this like this let us see this here you can see the slope of this black color line is greater than the slope of this red color line when the slope of the budget line is less than the slope of the indifference curve in this case consumer will consume all units of good x good x okay in either of the cases we will have the corner solution in this case consumer will consume you know uh, zero units of good x and all units of good y that means all units will be equal to total income divided by price of good y okay here we also have the corner solution here consumer will consume okay let me see if i have done it correctly oh okay i have done it correctly consumer will consume all units of good x that will be equal to total income divided by price of x times zero units of good y okay this is case first this is case second and the question was actually about the case third when the slope of the indifference curve and the slope of budget line were equal and here if i draw the third case okay actually the question itself is the third case so the next thing can be if this is our budget line 
and if the slope of the interference curve let us say this is first interference curve second interference curve if we level up so we will coincide with the budget line so let us say this is good x good is this is good y <laughs> okay so in this case then slope of budget line is exactly equal to the slope of indifference curve okay consumer will consume okay any point is any point on budget constraint okay so this question was actually the third case of this uh, utility maximization in case of linear utility function because uh, here you can see the slope of this is uh, you know you, the slope of the utility function is ac actually the slope of slope of ic okay and we got it equal to 2 upon 3 and slope of budget constraint which is equal to the ratio of the price px upon py okay so this denotes the slope of budget line since they are equal so consumer will be at equilibrium on any point on the budget constraint i hope i make myself clear in this video if you like these videos please share with your friends that's the only motivation for me to keep going on if you like comment and share okay i hope uh, you find this video helpful thank you